breaking news. And happening right now, the CHP is trying to figure out if one of its officers was shot at this morning. And right now, police have detained two people. This all unfolded along I-80 near the Nevada Street off-ramp in Auburn. And a short time later, CHP pulled over a truck at Sierra College Boulevard in Rockland. And that's where KCR3's David Beenick is live with the very latest on this case. David. Yeah, and the CHP tells us they're still trying to determine at this point if some sort of crime was committed. That white truck you mentioned was just pulled away from this location here at Sierra College Boulevard. Now, this all started just before 10 o'clock this morning. CHP says at 10, just before 10 o'clock, that white truck was passing through Auburn near the Nevada Street exit, where a CHP officer had already pulled over another vehicle, a big rig, in an unrelated stop. That officer, we're told, heard what sounded like several several gunshots that he believed were fired at him. The officer also believed that those shots were coming from the white truck. The officer put the information out on the air and approximately 10 minutes later, uh, another CHP that was a unit that was traveling westbound on I-80 uh, spotted a vehicle that matched the description put out by the initial officer. Now, two men who were in the white truck uh, were detained for questioning. The CHP says they are both being cooperative at this point. They are not under arrest. No one has been hurt, and no, uh, the car, the CHP officer's car was not uh, damaged in any way. Now, KCRA 3 just spoke with a witness at the initial scene who tells us that at the same time, he also heard what initially sounded like gunshots, but then he saw another vehicle unrelated to the white van passing through that was backfiring going up Interstate 80. So the CHP is trying to find, to find out if indeed there was a crime committed here at all or if this is all just a big misunderstanding. Live in Rockland, David Beaney, KCRA 3 News. David, thank you very much for the live report.